Glenn, that was a bit of a crazy game, um, particularly in the second half. How do you sum it up? Yeah, like I just said there, we never do it the easy way, but at, at the end of the day, it's a brilliant result for us. Um, from day one, I've turned up to every single camp, every international break. The coaches have always got that game plan there for us, and to be fair to us, more times than not, we always carry it out well. You came on as a second half substitute. What was the message from Scott Gemmell at half time? I don't think there needs to be too much of a message in that in that case. I know what I need to do when I go on. It's up to me to not shy away from everything. I need to get the ball and drive at people and hopefully make things happen. Um, and it's all down to me in that case. Uh, and, and I just need to impose myself in the game as, as much as I can. As we said, it was a bit of a crazy second half. What happened there with Billy's red card? I think it's just a complete misunderstanding. Uh, if, if you're going to be sending boys off for things like that, you, you won't have any players left in the pitch at the end of the game. Um, Croatia obviously scored two first half goals but we didn't really limit we limited them to little chances didn't we definitely but like, like I say that goes back to the game plan that goes back to what we're good at and, and, and we disrupt their sort of rhythm that they try and get into and when you do that then, then you give yourself a good chance of getting something from the game now on to Greece on Tuesday a win and qualification for the first time since 1996. You looking forward to it? Yeah, it's a massive game. I don't think you need to say much more than that. Uh, I'm sure everyone's going to be right up for it. Uh, and as I said, there'll be that game plan there for us again and, and it's over to us to, to go and do it in the 90 minutes and I'm sure we will.